Hey everyone, thanks for checking out another key shot quick tip. My name is Rex and I'll be discussing the application of labels on transparent materials. We've touched on this topic in the past, but here we'll be looking at more of a real world application. A client came to us asking for help replicating a soap bottle like this one, with a double sided label on the back showing ingredients on one side and an image on the other, and a single sided label on the front. To communicate this effect properly, we'll need to take an extra step in our modeling software. In order to have greater control of the application of our labels, I've created an additional offset surface. The offset value must be small enough so that it isn't noticeable to the eye, but large enough so there is no overlapping surfaces or what we call Z-fighting once imported to Keyshot. As you can see, I've already added materials to the spout, so let's continue with the rest of the bottle. First, I'll start with the soap. We'll make this a liquid material type. With a refraction index of water and a refraction index outside of glass and this represents the surface where the liquid is in direct contact with the bottle. In order to add a little bit more realism we're going to add a texture here. This noise uh, image comes with Keyshot. It should be in your texture resources folder. So we'll apply that as a box map and get a nice large scale on there um, bump height not too high gives it a little bit of a ripple effect okay so then let's give our bottle a glass material making sure to check two-sided in order to enable the refractive properties of the material looks a bit more realistic that way and for our outer material here We'll add the same glass, but leave two-sided unchecked. So let's take a look at our settings here. And when working with transparent materials, you'll always want to have global illumination, uh, also known as in detailed indirect illumination. Uh, it should be enabled. And this allows light to bounce through the transparent material and illuminate the objects inside. You'll also probably want to increase your ray bounces from the default of six uh, in order to illuminate these objects inside as well. So now we're ready to apply our labels. Let's take a look at Illustrator and our label setup. So we have three labels, our ingredients and our back inside label, which should be about the same size, and our front label here. Now with our front label, I've given uh, this shape a 25% transparency and that will communicate this as one piece sticker as opposed to individual letters and lines. Those labels are all saved as PNGs in order to retain the transparency. So let's go ahead and start with our back labels. It helps to square up your object uh, when positioning your labels and it, this will make your life a little bit easier. Let's double click on our material here, go to our labels tab and we'll start with our ingredients. Click position and center this label here. And we're going to need to increase the scale, obviously. OK. And we'll add our inside label here. And position it in the same way, centering it on our bottle here. And we obviously need to 
adjust the scale, but this time just the Y value. Position that again and line it up as best we can with our ingredients label. Okay, so this label needs to be on the inside. That's an easy fix. We select it here and move it down. That puts it on the inside. Now you can see it peeking through uh, the back of our ingredients label here. However, you don't see either of the labels uh, from the other side. And that's just because we need to make sure that two-sided is checked for our blue label here. Now you can see it coming through one side, but the depth value is too high and it's going all the way to the other side of the bottle. So we'll bring that down and that's it for our back labels. Let's go ahead and add our front label here. But first I'd like to show you um, what it would look like if we didn't take the extra step in our modeling software to create that offset surface. So here if I show this label that I had previously applied, um, we could project it in our normal projection mode and we try and get this depth right. We don't want it to go through to the other side, but if we were to zoom in here, we can see there's a bit of a duplication of the label, and that's the label uh, being projected onto the inside surface of the bottle. Now we need that depth to be a high enough value for this uh, label to go around the curvature of the bottle. So obviously this doesn't work for this situation and that's why we created the offset surface in SolidWorks. So we'll hide that for now and show our outer surface. Let's go to our front view here and apply our final label. Okay, we'll position that in the center of our bottle here and adjust the scale in order to fit. Okay, it's about right. Now, Again, if we look from the back, you cannot see our front label. So what we want to do is make sure that we have two-sided checked. And now it will be visible from the back. Again, decrease the depth so it doesn't go all the way through. And looks like this got moved again. So there we go. We have our ingredients label on the back. We have our image label showing through the inside. Now if you had text on this inside label, you would want to make sure to check flip horizontal in order for that text to read properly because it is being projected from the back side of the bottle and we have our Keyshot Instant Hand Sanitizer. So hopefully this was helpful for everyone and you can find some type of use for this. And until next time, thank you.